All right, good afternoon, everyone. I'm with uh, Lighter from Reason Gaming. So, hello, Chris. Um, could you introduce yourself to the readers, please? Yeah, all right, where's normal readers out there? Basically, I'm Lighter, who plays for Reason Gaming COD 14, and I'm basically I've been playing for about com coming up to two years now. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, how was your trip here? I heard it was a bit of a messy one. Oh, it was definitely a messy one. I mean. Having a trip with Duff alone can be, you know, quite bad enough. But I, I end up being awake for 48 hours straight and having to play my games. And I had a six-hour drive picking up Danny and Duffer on the way, so it wasn't an easy task. But I got here safe. Got the game. Well, didn't really get the games played, but we'll uh, get into that later, no doubt. But yeah, it was interesting to say the least. Yeah, it's hard to keep Duffer under control. I've been out with him in Belfast, and yeah, it's tough. <laughs> so, um, how's the event, event been so far for you? Uh, definitely been eventful. I mean, we got to the event, uh, we set the PCs up, it was raining, so obviously we had to clean my PCs up a bit, get them dried. Then obviously, straight away, we came here, checked the place out, checked the stands, and then we came to sign up the tournament, make sure all the players were on. Once we set the PCs up, and then we were ready for to start the COD 4 competition, and then we went to the briefing, which basically from there just turned quite messy. Basically, what happened was the series it five to eight that basically the host in this tournament these other rules etc still haven't announced the prize fund and seeing your game starts in the next five minutes so go away and start playing your games yeah okay um after a uh, steady performance at the summerlands we've seen some drastic changes in your lineup um how does the team perform without the finished duo of uh, sam and cams uh i think we're coming along really well i mean obviously all being all being british it really helps i mean the communication the uh, I'm trying to stop for words. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just communication, yeah, communication and sense of humour, basically. It's just all on the same wavelength. I mean, we had fun and obviously enjoyed the time in company with Camis and Solvax, but it's just it's a di different atmosphere, such as we just seem to click that a little bit better. Obviously, in games, you can talk a little bit better, but uh, it's definitely something different. Yeah, that's the most important thing to have a bit of fun within the team. Okay, there's been a lot of controversy over Reason and uh, Modern Warfare 2. Firstly, you were removed for not being able to connect to the servers and then uh, being re-added. Could you shed a, shed a bit of light on the sliders? Uh, see what I did there? Yeah, I certainly did then, <laughs> I like it. Well, basically, what happened when I mentioned briefly beforehand, basically we had five minutes to get in the server. So we all had the games set up. And then what happened is I went to the meeting being the captain. I came back, told my team for to join up to the server. And as soon as I got back, me and there that was working previously stopped working. So I had two options personally. I either went to the admins of the tournament that me net not working, which would have took us five, ten minutes because they're all the way in the next building and on the floor up. Or go to the technical service, which is like on the bottom floor, and say, look, fix me internet, and then tell me team. And that took us 20 minutes, so basically I got me internet fixed, which took us 20 minutes, and then I posted on IRC, because I'm the captain, I sort out all the like messy stuff, so to speak. And then says, look, we're obviously, the game's a little bit delayed, we can't, like, you know, can't play just yet, we're sorting it out. And then, straight away, I, I get a bit of backlash saying, well, you're posting this a bit late on you, but obviously, we'll get it. that's not something really I want to get into, because then we've got it tough enough. But what happened was, the team who were meant to play, Exevo, basically all teams were required for to join i 38 team group. And when we looked on the players' list, we couldn't see any of their names. We could only see XB. I can't remember what the name of the team was, but we couldn't see Exevo. And no one could join the game that them supposedly held up. So what we done was we posted on the IRC, looking for them and vice versa. And then once we finally found out the team, we tried to connect. And basically, one of our players, hadn't Tim Denton, Revolts hadn't actually got level 4 because he just installed the game prior like 5 minutes before that because he was using a different PC. Yeah, it seems to be a lot of problem with this event. Um, it's definitely not one of the best ones. But um, after being re-added, um, how did this come about? Did you, do you feel this is fair and a way Foster put it on our forums if, let's say, 105th SAS did the same? Uh, would they have had the opportunity to be re-added? Well, uh, it, it is honest, it's really hard for to put a fair point of view on that because obviously with us being in a sponsored organisation and looked up to being a seeded team, obviously it does look like you get a little bit more special special support, but the way it all folded down, such as me not having internet, they did, they did see it in the briefing. Obviously, we know we're going to have problems, we're going to be catering for this, obviously not everything's going to go right, we're the first ones to test it, and the three things to see is if we're having problems with Steam, if we're having problems with internet connection such as the LAN or if you're having problem with PC troubles which we end up having all three we couldn't connect the server 
didn't have any internet and Steam was just well Steam was trying to download the game when we had the disc so we obviously had to work around that and we had to level up which obviously took an extra 10 minutes yeah. Steam seemed to be a really a big problem especially with freezing and things like that it's Okay, um, after speaking to Revolts in the bar last night, he said he hadn't played the game, let alone installed it. Um, this was an hour before the tournament was set to start. This is how the rest of the team uh, felt about playing Modern Warfare 2. Well, uh, obviously, Tim Denton, he, he, at home, he bought the game, obviously, as we all did, once we heard about the, prize, the huge supposed prize funded uh, I series. But what happened was, obviously, he installed the game. But he didn't. He's obviously didn't seem too interested in the game himself personally. But uh, I think I speak for the rest of the went. We're, we're like eager to play it, see how it turned out. But it's just a fun. Pub, after playing it, it's just a fun pub game. It is really good to play on uh, online or with friends and have a laugh, such as getting the ride shield out and grenade launchers. But when you try playing, comp- when you try actually playing it competitively, you'll find out you're pruning in the middle of the street and just getting camo where it, it shouldn't be taken on that level. It should be more about reactions and working as a team. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, how do you feel about the rules set which multiplayer admins have published, um, especially after the rules and regulations about being over 18? Uh, the over 18 thing's a joke. I mean, to be fair, you've got teams like Epson who've come in from Finland, or they've come all this way, paid all the money for the flights and bought the tickets, and then they've been told that they can't play in the competition. It's just a complete backlash, especially when you can have things like parental consent forms for the obviously rectify these problems but I do know if there was some internal problems such as Activision maybe having a hand in this obviously not letting the 18s play because obviously we know multiplayer is a big organisation so if then we've obviously got legal problems or if there's no loophole for it then you know it really would be nice for to get like a response from multiplayer if there was anything that they could do about this or if they just can't say it's too hard to say anything like officially. Yeah a lot of teams are defaulted because of it and you know it's just ruined the competition really um, so after playing a few games of Modern Warfare 2, how do you feel about the game? Uh, let's say modding tools were released and also uh, Daddy servers, could it be a competitive game? Uh, of course it could be, if mod tools are released we'll be able to make it competitive, we'll be able to have ready up functions, we'll be able to li- limit perks like we we'll have done these, it obviously helps in the competition aspect but with that being done, I can only say going back towards more COD 4 because it's based off the same engine and obviously everyone knows the COD 4 formula such as the maps, everyone's using the same guns, you're going to be using the same guns anyway so it's just going to be COD 4 with new maps. So I don't see why everyone doesn't just stick at COD 4 and then develop new maps and then just learn these new maps because it, everyone wins. Yeah, I agree. It's COD 4 maybe with some new maps. So um, that brings me on to the next question actually. Um, if Dreamhack is uh, as awful as this event has been, well, it's obvious it's been awful, um, and nothing has brought out back Division, um, what do you think the community should do? Um, it's quite, well, it's quite straightforward. Really. I think everyone should go back to COD 4 because obviously we've got more, to- we've got more tools for that, we've got a competition format for that, and every- the admins know what they're doing. If there's a problem, such as every- everyone knows how to connect with the server, they haven't got to follow through friends list or create groups, or there's just it's so simple and straightforward and it's working why change something that working the only thing that we need is to add maybe a few more maps yeah I agree um, so we've seen you finish second in your groups and um, also you're up against Dignitas where you unfortunately lost 13-2 um, are you got, what can you improve for your next match? basically just play the game more obviously we haven't really we haven't played any games together as a team yet because obviously Tim didn't have internet connection but Tim couldn't connect to Modern Warfare 2 at university so we weren't playing any matches and when we were everyone was just levelling up the pub because it was all speculation what was actually happening at LAN until pretty much the final day of LAN when the say it's right let's capture the flag and obviously explain the rules that yeah it's been uh, announced this afternoon that Element have uh, put together a Call of Duty 4 tournament actually with uh, all teams chipping in money and the prize funds are going to be roughly around £500 I think um, what do you feel about that will it bring uh, let's say so every cloud has silver lining? Yeah, I mean, it's a godsend really because it shows you that the, co- the community are getting together and they're, they're doing it themselves. Obviously, they know the game works, everyone likes the game, and the most important, everyone's supporting it. Obviously, all teams, are pay- I think, are paying £25 each, that's only £5 a player. And obviously, you've got the argument against it, I'd say as well. Yeah, but why is like a, a mid tier team going to pay for to play in a competition? But the thing is, they enjoy the competition. Obviously, if you don't have a competition like that, then you're just going to get clean 30 0 wins against really bad teams, and just no one wants that. But obviously, against the top teams, you're going to have rivals and competitions where 
it's not just always for the money, it's also an incentive for the players, so you're playing for who's the best, who's the best in the bragging rights. Yep, it um, should be good now, so um, thanks a lot for your time Chris, it answered really well. Um, any last shout outs? No, just shout out to all the fans and uh, hopefully everyone can get behind Cod 4 and back it up and I'm looking, for, I'm looking forward to playing it at the next LAN. Yeah, um, so what are you going to do about uh, Left 4 Dead 2? Oh, uh, depends how I've got there, Wiz. Maybe Sydney Clink are making a return. Yeah. Hopefully you'll get a better PC, but if uh, that doesn't happen, I'll, I think I'll stick with Left 4 Dead. Alright, that's cool. Alright, thanks for your time and uh, all the best for the rest of the tournament.